Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Now, I just did a video on Baldur's Gate 3 and playing the game specifically on Steam Deck and my experience playing it on that machine, how it ran, the performance, that kind of thing. Interestingly enough, I got quite a lot of comments from people saying that their performance on Steam Deck had been better than mine, 30 to 40 FPS instead of the 25 to 30 that I'd gotten. There wasn't always a reason given for this, but enough people mentioned downloading the Cry Utilities app and also swapping the VRAM of the Steam Deck from one gigabyte to four gigabyte that I got curious and decided to give this a go myself to see if it helped with the performance of Baldur's Gate 3 on Steam Deck. And this is how I got on. So first of all, I changed my graphic settings in game to the default for the Steam Deck. So I clicked detect settings just in case I'd done something weird with the graphic settings. And then I did turn FSR off again because that just made things look so muddy to me. So apart from FSR, I'm on the default graphic settings and I've removed all the frame rate caps from both the game settings and also from the Steam Deck itself. I'm going to show you some clips now that are before installing Cray Utilities. This first one is in the Emerald Grove where you first meet Will. This is a newer character that I'm playing in a co-op campaign on my PC so it only has a smaller area of the map unlocked but you can see as I run around I'm getting about 25 to 30 frames per second Never really higher than that though. It seems to struggle at first when initiating dialogue, but after that it smooths out a bit, I guess maybe because it's not rendering as much of the world. This second clip then is on the cliff top where you first meet Gale. So both of these are in act one so far. Walking through the crashed Nautiloid, the frame rate hovers around 30. And interestingly, as we get to the water and actually more water fills the screen, that gives me a better frame rate and it makes it all the way up to nearly 40. Not really sure why that is. Uh, in my experience, it's been that a lot of games struggle with water and it's kind of weird that in this case, the water seems to be easier to run. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. Now this last clip is of act two. So beware of slight spoilers of seeing the environment, but you can see here, the Steam Deck is really struggling. There seems to be more effects on the screen and walking around the frame rate hovers around 20 and the most that I can get is 25. It really does seem to struggle in act two. So that's the performance before Cray Utilities was installed. I then proceed to install the app and change all of the settings to those suggested. And I even changed the VRAM manually by holding the plus button and power button at the same time to access those settings. After diving back in, unfortunately we don't really see too much of a change. I ran the same three areas and I tried to follow my walk path as closely as I could. The general frame rate though seems to be about the same walking around. Initiating dialogue seems to have that same dip at first and then smooth us out. And walking through the nautiloid and then reaching the water doesn't seem to be that different. And unfortunately, the Act 2 area struggles just as much to get anything over 25 frames per second. So there we go. Sadly, this doesn't seem to have changed anything for me, but I thought it'd be a good experiment to do. And I thought you guys might be interested in the results, even though it didn't really do anything. I thought you might be interested to know that. If you do have Cry Utilities installed and you're messing around with it, trying activating and deactivating it and seeing how that affects Baldur's Gate 3, I'd be really interested to see if your experience was the same. You know, it's not really affecting anything. For now, at least for me, it seems like it's a bit of a mystery still why some people get better performance on Steam Deck than others, considering we're all supposed to be running on the same hardware. I hope you found this video useful, even if all it was would it save you a bit of time if you were considering doing the same thing. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.